see this is what we are talking about and this is what we are looking for Pump it inside the water voila the gluten is gonna breathe Hello guys from Maestro Tio Coppelli and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be interesting. First of all, thank you so much all for all the messages that I got uh, over this week and uh, weeks. So guys, take a look. Here we have the perfect pizza at home. I'm going to show you six mistakes about uh, when making the pizza dough. Also, I'm going to show you some tips, how to resolve it, how to get the, this dough that was dry. See, now it's perfect. So yeah, it's possible, even if the dough is uh, it's dry, it's possible to get it back to life, back to life. Enjoy these six tips from my Street Copelli, uh, from my Street Copelli. Enjoy these six tips from my Street Copelli. Make sure to subscribe and share and watch until the end. Sit down and get a pen and paper, get these tips done. So if here is uh, all, the ingredients that, uh, all the ingredients that we need to make the pizza dough, water, flour, salt and olive oil, the Polish. The first error is uh, using hot water. So you are thinking, I use hot water to speed up the process. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's not how it works. The hot water will kill your uh, yeast, will uh, overproof and that will make your dough acid. Always use uh, room temperature water. Right now here we have uh, uh, 70 Fahrenheit, uh, the flour, the water, everything is at uh, room temperature. You want the water always to keep uh, around 63, to 75 the max. So remember, the more it's cold the water, the slower will ferment the dough. The more it's warmer, the more fast will grow. So basically, even the salt, salt is very important in your dough. So the more salt you put, the slower your dough will uh, grow. So if, if it's a hot day, what we wanna do is to you try to use the cold water, not freezing water, cold water with increasing the amount of salt. That will slow down the, uh, the fermentation. But uh, if it's cold, what you wanna do is uh, keep the room temperature water, lower down the amount of salt. Uh, error number two. There we go, this is the polish that I use uh, to make the dough. Always I suggest everyone to use the Polish oops, to make the dough because that what makes the best pizza. The error is not use, uh, using the yeast not ready to use. If you're using the yeast that is not ready, your dough is not gonna prove. We don't want that. So this is how we test if your yeast is ready. So grab a handful just like that, just a little bit and then bump it inside the water, voila. If the yeast uh, stays on top of the water like that, that means it is a lot of air inside, that means that your yeast is ready and uh, nice and fermented. Or also is another way to see it, you can see all the, the, all the bubbles inside, that means that your yeast is ready. But sometimes uh, the polish doesn't grow that much, you are not able to see, so this is the way to see it. So hopefully this one was clear. Here you go, the error number three. Well, we are ready to make the dough. Here I'm gonna use it 100% polish. Voila, dump the whole polish inside. This is one liter of water, one kilo of flour, five grams of yeast, five grams of honey. Don't put all the ingredients together in one shot. If you put everything together, the dough does incorporate the, the, the air that we want and it's not gonna proof uh, properly. So here we go, uh, the error number three is uh, over knead the dough. And we wanna keep uh, the dough mixing in the proper time. So usually it's about uh, 10 to 15 minutes to build the gluten. So if we pass that, the dough is gonna warm up and uh, we are going to destroy the gluten structure. So uh, when you're cooking at home, always use the olive oil, always to put the uh, liquid first. Let's go ahead and we're gonna add the salt, little by little. Let's incorporate the salt with speed number one because again, if you're going to speed up the process, it's gonna warm up and we are going to destroy the gluten structure. Always try to keep uh, the track of the, the temperature. We wanna keep always, we don't wanna pass the 80 Fahrenheit. Remember this, this is the, the tip number three or error number three is not putting it all together. So we wanna dump the flour little by little little by little and uh, let the dough incorporate the flour. One more tip is uh, always uh, get a scale like this and measure the all the ingredients in grams. It's more precise, guys. Using uh, 
spoon or cup is that precise like grams always you want to keep track of all of the the ingredients that you put you want to be precise when you're making the pizza dough so when once everything is integrated your dough is ready so i speed it up a little bit and i see all the flour right there on the on the side when the flour is uh, in the dough the dough is ready right now it's uh, about uh, almost 75 see 75 so the dough is increasing the temperature so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it off the machine you can see the gluten structure it's uh, the gluten is built so see how strong it is right now we can go ahead and let it relax a little bit in the dough machine this way the gluten relax and uh, we can go ahead and do the second step okay guys the dough it's rest enough Okay, number four, very, very uh, important tip. Put a little bit of uh, olive oil in your hands, then tap, tap on top, and then on the spatula, same thing. Then we wanna take out the dough from the, from the container. Tip here is to not add the flour or any kind of liquid. Otherwise, you're gonna change the recipe, you're gonna increase the hydration or you're gonna decrease the hydration. All of oil on your hands, tap, tap on top. What we're gonna do here is uh, forming a ball before putting a, a slip. Did you see, that's what I'm talking about. The structure of the gluten is built nice and properly, and properly, and the dough is becoming nice, white, and smooth. So that's the goal to make the perfect pizza dough. Look at this. It's perfect and build. The mistake here is uh, drinking a coffee or making a phone call and uh, leaving the dough open. This will dry out your dough and then we're gonna mess up the whole dough. So most of you guys leave the dough just like that. Maybe they put uh, a dry towel on top like that but still you get the air inside and it's gonna dry out the dough. To be able to fix the issue when it gets dry, it is a way to fix it. You fix it like this. Grab a little bit of water, put it on top, and just go around the dough where it's dry. And then wait a few minutes and the dough will uh, revive. This is how you fix the issue when the dough is dry. So grab a little bit of plastic wrap and uh, put it on top. Make sure it's all covered, just like that. Boom, 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 baby. Voila, the dough is uh, nice and covered. And now we're gonna let it rest for 30 minutes at room temperature to one hour. It depends how, how, how long you wanna keep, when you wanna make the dough. So in two hours, we're gonna make the dough. I'm gonna keep it like this for 30 minutes at room temperature. <clears throat> and you see with the plastic wrap on top, the dough doesn't get, uh, doesn't get dry but it is another way if you don't have a plastic wrap you can go ahead and use uh, uh, a towel but the towel needs to be humid and maybe put two towels humid this way it will absorb the water doesn't get dry so let's go ahead and let's wait 20 minutes well in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and clean up the whole kitchen i'm not gonna stay with my hands in my pocket otherwise my wife is gonna kill me now that we finish everything here is the door like you can see is nice and uh, perfect. This is the structure of the gluten. Take a look, hold on, let me take off one piece. Let me show it to you. See, this is what we are talking about and this is what we are looking for to build perfect the gluten and also it's not dry. So I'm gonna explain you a couple of things that is, uh, is very important to know and uh, how to resolve it. So this is how to make the pizza dough. Make sure when you make the pizza dough, you don't uh, uh, you don't uh, basically you don't uh, just keep making the ball tip make the boss and then see what happens when you go too much the gluten is gonna rip see and that's a mistake so we want to keep the dough a nice uh, the dough ball nice and smooth so when it rips just get the part that is rips rip and then go ahead and put it on top again so we want always to use this part. That's a, that's a tip that I didn't say. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and make one dough ball really big to be able to make the focaccia. So this is how basically 
from one thing we go to another thing but that's the goal of this uh, this uh, this channel everything live no secret so i put a little bit of uh, olive oil i grab the dough and then put it on there a little bit of uh, olive oil on top plastic wrap this is the mistake that i not the number four so that's that's how you go it's the same thing with the focaccia whatever you're doing so see i'm putting the plastic wrap on top this way it doesn't get dry this is the focaccia i'm gonna go ahead and let it rest for one hour then i press it and then i put the the tomatoes and everything and then i make the focaccia this is how you make the focaccia so i leave it there at room temperature for one hour once we make the ball i always suggest to get a container like this one this way you put the balls in like that with the lid you go ahead and seal it this way you don't have any air but uh, at, at home don't try to put some flour on the bottom because when you put the, the flour on the bottom you're going to change the hydration ratio so we always want to keep everything uh, how, how the recipe is at the max you can put a little bit of uh, olive oil to make it more easy but uh, i always use us that's why we use a spatter to take it out without hands here is the mistake if uh, you leave the dough open the dough will dry out you're not going to be able to use it again the same thing when you're going to make the dough like i said the tip of the dough when you put the water is the same thing if the dough gets dry get your hands a little bit wet with water and then tap 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 on top and then you let it stay for another 10 15 minutes the dough will become alive again but always how to resolve that that was the how to resolve it the proper way to do it is to put plastic wrap on top like that everything because the dough is gonna double up the side and then will be ready the number five is uh, make sure to use the dough at uh, point of fermentation the mistake is if you're going to right after you make the balls if you're going to put it in the fridge right away it's a it's a huge mistake at least let it rest for about 30 minutes this is when you want to use the dough tomorrow so if you want to use tomorrow at least wait 30 minutes at room temperature and then put it in the fridge and then tomorrow uh one hour before you take it out from the fridge and you let it go ahead and go back uh to the point of fermentation do not use the dough too early let the dough to go to the point of fermentation so this is how you see it so the dough will double up the size so basically when it gets atta attached together so it's, it's very simple you just double up the side so it's very important to weigh the dough that gets to the point of fermentation before using it otherwise it's gonna be like a rubber it goes back and forth back and forth you're gonna risk to uh, rip the dough very easy that's the most common uh, error that not everybody wait for number six is very is very common People go in the fridge, they grab the dough, boom, boom, boom. They grab the dough and uh, here you go. They get the dough cold from the fridge and uh, they are going to make the pizza. If you're going to use the dough from the fridge cold, or you're going to have all these black dots on the pizza. That's a sign of uh, the dough it was not proper fermented. That is gonna be not digestible at all. The pizza is going to be chewy me and uh, it's gonna stick in your teeth, it's gonna hurt the the side of your mouth well it's not good at all so these type of black dots they are not good for the pizza that means that the dough was used too early too cold and they didn't give the time to get back to the temperature so that's very important to grab it outside the fridge relax and let it stay at least one hour at room temperature this way the go the dough uh, goes back to temperature see now it's cold and the dough needs to go back to around the 70, 75 Fahrenheit before using it. So basically room temperature, touch it, if it's cold, too much, not good to use. Everything. Hopefully this video was very really helpful for you. Please go back, listen carefully what I say, because I'm giving the, my, all my knowledge from 25 years of experience to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and making the pizza, but in the next video, I'm going to teach you the five, six, seven tips how to make the perfect pizza at home, uh, in the home oven. Smash the like, share this video, and I'll see you every week with a new video from Maestro Diogo Pelli. I'm gonna go ahead and make the focaccia. And then after, at the end, I leave some, uh, some video here and there. Thank you so much, guys. Ciao from Maestro Diogo Pelli. And thank you for your valuable time. <laughs> Then the belly to mind your repose
Gloria mi, 